Category 1. The Wake Up Call Wind speeds are between 74 and 95 miles per hour, 119 to 153 kilometers per hour, for hurricanes in Category 1-1. In comparison to heavier storms, these hurricanes seem rather tame on paper but do not be fooled. They are still capable of causing significant difficulties. They frequently remove shingles from rooftops, snap tree limbs, and create power outages in various areas. Areas that are close to the coast are particularly vulnerable to floods, and structures that are not built to a sufficient standard may sustain significant damage. Category 1 storms are frequently underestimated by first-time hurricane survivors, but they serve as a warning shot. If even this type of storm can take out electricity for days, stronger storms can be devastating. Category 2. The Property Destroyer Winds that are strong enough to cause significant destruction, ranging from 96 to 110 miles per hour, 154 to 177 kilometers per hour, are brought by hurricanes of Category 2. Mobile homes and older structures become structurally unsound, and huge trees can shatter or uproot, obstructing roadways and crushing vehicles. In certain areas, power disruptions that are caused by Category 2 storms can last for several weeks. Hurricane Francis, which struck Florida in 2004 and inflicted billions of dollars in damage despite the fact that it was not the biggest storm of that season, serves as one example. Evacuation orders become increasingly prevalent at this stage because flooding in conjunction with powerful winds might saturate local infrastructures. Category 3 the major hurricane threshold category. Three hurricanes have wind speeds of 111 to 129 miles per hour, 178 to 208 kilometers per hour, and are considered major hurricanes. At this point, the destruction becomes life-threatening. Entire neighborhoods can lose their roofs, electricity grids may be down for weeks, and water supplies can be contaminated. The storm surge, the rise in sea level pushed by the storm can flood coastal areas with walls of water taller than houses. Hurricane Katrina, 2005, which devastated New Orleans, initially reached Category 3 strength at landfall, and the combination of winds and surge made it one of the most infamous natural disasters in U.S. history. Category 3 storms aren't just destructive, they're deadly. Category 4. The City Breaker Winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour, 209 to 251 kilometers per hour, are unleashed by hurricanes that are classified as Category 4-4. Even residences that are constructed solidly sustain significant structural damage at this stage. After the storm has passed, entire regions might take on an appearance so drastically different that they are unrecognizable. The windows are blown out of the tall buildings, the big trees are completely stripped of their leaves, and the storm surges can go well inland, where they wreak havoc on highways, bridges, and essential infrastructure. One example is Hurricane Harvey, which struck Texas as a Category 4 storm in 2017. As a result of Harvey, unprecedented volumes of rain fell, causing devastating flooding throughout the Houston area and beyond. A hurricane that is classified as a Category 4 does not just cause property damage, it also disrupts economies, displaces populations, and takes years to recover from. Category 5. The Monster Storms Category 5 hurricanes are the top of the official scale, with winds 157 miles per hour, 252 kilometers per hour, or greater. These storms are almost beyond comprehension. Entire towns can be wiped off the map, with nothing left but concrete slabs where houses once stood. Infrastructure is obliterated, hospitals and emergency services collapse, and entire regions can become uninhabitable for months. Examples include Hurricane Irma, 2017, which tore through the Caribbean, and Hurricane Dorian, 2019, which stalled over the Bahamas, leveling entire communities. Category 5 hurricanes are rare, but represent the peak of nature's fury, with recovery efforts often stretching over decades. Category 6. The Theoretical Nightmare Now here's where things get terrifying. Officially, the Saffir-Simpson scale stops at Category 5, 
But some scientists argue that with climate change and rising ocean temperatures, we may soon face storms powerful enough to justify a new category. A hypothetical Category 6 hurricane would have sustained winds above 190 or even 200 miles per hour, 305 plus kilometers per hour. At this strength, survival in the direct path of the storm becomes nearly impossible. Concrete structures could fail, skyscrapers could lose stability, and entire coastlines could be redrawn. While we haven't officially seen one yet, Hurricane Patricia 2015 in the Pacific reached sustained winds of 215 miles per hour, making it the closest candidate for a Category 6 in recorded history. It's a sobering reminder that the line between science fiction and reality is getting thinner every year. Category 7 – The Mega Hurricane a Category 7 hurricane is not officially recognized, but it represents the growing fear of storms far stronger than the world has ever faced. Scientists theorize that a storm of this level would have sustained winds over 200 miles per hour, 322 kilometers per hour, capable of erasing entire coastal towns from the map. Skyscrapers would sway, glass would shatter across city skylines, and massive storm surges would push seawater miles inland. At this point, no structure designed under current building codes could withstand such forces. A Category 7 hurricane would also carry unprecedented rainfall, leading to inland flooding that could rival the destruction at the coasts. Thankfully, humanity has never witnessed this, but rising ocean temperatures raise serious concerns that it could become possible in the future. Category 8 – The Superstorm a Category 8 hurricane is the absolute worst-case scenario, a storm so powerful it feels more like a natural apocalypse than weather. With sustained winds above 250 miles per hour, 402 kilometers per hour, it would be stronger than most tornadoes but spread across hundreds of miles. Entire regions could become uninhabitable for weeks, if not months, after such a storm. Imagine entire power grids destroyed, airports leveled and communication systems wiped out. The storm surge from a Category 8 hurricane would not just flood coastal areas but could permanently alter coastlines, swallowing parts of cities and farmland under the sea. While this category is purely hypothetical, it highlights how dangerous unchecked climate change could be, as warmer oceans feed storms to levels once thought impossible. Category 9 – The Hypercane A Category 9 – Hurricane would push the boundaries of anything humanity could ever prepare for. With sustained winds over 300 miles per hour, 482 kilometers per hour, this storm would behave more like a continent-wide tornado than a hurricane. High-rise buildings would not just lose windows, they could crumble entirely. Bridges, highways, and even reinforced bunkers would be at risk of collapse. A Category 9 hurricane could spawn storm surges tall enough to swallow entire coastal cities and produce rainfall so intense that rivers would rise by dozens of feet in mere hours. In this scenario, millions would be displaced, and recovery could take decades, not years. It's the kind of storm that would change history and geography forever. Category 10 – The Doomsday Hurricane A Category 10 Hurricane is nothing short of a planet-changing event. Imagine sustained winds beyond 350 miles per hour, 563 kilometers per hour, with gusts that exceed anything ever measured in human history. The sheer force of this storm could grind entire cities into rubble, topple skyscrapers, and permanently redraw coastlines. Storm surges would not just flood, they could bury areas underwater for good, creating new bays and inland seas. Inland areas hundreds of miles from the ocean would still face catastrophic winds and flash floods. A Category 10 hurricane would likely be the end of civilization as we know it in the impacted area, requiring global aid and possibly forcing entire nations to abandon coastal regions forever. While this level is purely theoretical, it serves as a stark reminder of how fragile we are against the full power of nature.